nothing like a fresh, hot cup of coffee on a cold morning. I know it's not as cold as it up, is up north, but here in Virginia, we're starting to get a little chilly. I can definitely feel it in the mornings. So, welcome to your Thursday morning cup of cyber. I'm Jim Broad. Uh, as always, we will be talking about uh, cyber and cyber topics every morning at 7 a.m. Eastern. Uh, today we're talking about RMF 2.0 and the implement step. Um, yeah, the implement step is one of the steps that looks simple. So when you look at the RMF, you'll see that this step only has two tasks. Uh, both tasks belong to either the system owner or the common control provider, depending on if you're building a system or software in that case or a common control set. So you, you would look at it and it would appear to be pretty straightforward, pretty easy. But really this is where kind of the rubber meets the road. Up to this point, we've been, been planning for this control implementation. So we categorized the system, we prepared the system, we went through and we selected and modified the control set to get the, the controls we really need to drive down risk and provide security for the information system. Um, but now, now we have to actually go through and put those controls in place in our information system or our common control set or our application. So um, for the system owner or the information system security officer or the security analyst, whoever's gonna be actually doing this work, Again, it's assigned to the system owner or the common control provider. Normally, those folks aren't going to do the work. They're going to delegate it down. And it's going to be delegated within the government. It's going to be delegated to the information system security officer or, or the ISO. Or it's going to be you know, delegated to someone like a security engineer or a system administrator or security analyst, those kind of folks. Um, because the system owner is really not going to know how to do this. So will implement the controls and remember back in the last step we actually planned on how we were going to implement them so we made a plan and now we're going to implement those controls so the first task we have to do is control implementation and these are remember this is rmf 2.0 so this is both security controls and privacy controls so we have to implement both kinds of controls and we should go through our list of controls in our SCTM, our security controls traceability matrix. Um, and we have to get those controls implemented throughout the system. Now, the plan we made in the last step is what we're planning on doing. Uh, but we know that sometimes the best laid plans don't work out like we think they are. So if we plan on implementing something like password policies in, in a certain way, and maybe that doesn't work on our system. Maybe we th think we're going to do it through Active Directory, and we end up building a Linux system that in our environment, we don't have any connection to the Microsoft Active Directory. So maybe we have to have a different way of implementing those password controls. So within this step, we also have uh, a, a task of updating the control implementation information. So as we go through, we may have 100 controls, right? Whatever is on our SCTM, we have to plan on implementing. So the first part of this is implementing the controls. One by one, we go through and we implement them as we planned. Um, if there's any changes from how we planned on implementing them in the last step, we'll use this second task to update that impl implementation information, right? So we'll go into the SCTM and update it. We'll go into the SSP or the system security plan and we'll update how we implemented this control. The theory is once we come out of the implements step, we are going to turn the system or the common control set or our application over, the, over to the security control assessors or, or the SCA. And the security control assessor in the next step will do an independent assessment of the controls to see how well they were implemented. So one of the things that's kind of implied in this step is when we implement a control, we need to go ahead and test it against NIST SP-853 and 853-alpha, the assessment guide, to make sure we implemented it correctly. 
And if we use the alpha, or the 853A, then we have the, the kind of the test plan. We know what's on the test. So if we're implementing the controls with the assessment in mind, that means we've implemented it correctly. That means we will have driven down risk and we will have increased security by implementing those required controls. So if we use that alpha, we can say, okay, here is what the assessor is going to possibly assess us on, right? And we'll talk more about this next week when we talk about the assess step. But in this case, we can go through and say, okay, I know, for example, that this password has to be 12 characters long. I know that it has to uh, be changed every 30 days. Um, I know that um, you know it has to have special characters, uppercase, lowercase, and numbers. Now I can implement that in my system, and I should do a self-assessment. Uh, and by that I mean by that I mean I implement the control, and then I run some self-tests to see is the control implemented correctly. If it's a requirement to have a 10-character password, can I set a password with eight characters? If there's a requirement to have all four types of security security um, or character types, uh, uppercase, lowercase, numbers, and special characters, can I make a password with less than that? Can I make a password with just, with just numbers or with just three of the four if all four are required? Um, it's important to test these controls as you implement them. So this task, or excuse me, this step is about these two tasks. Control implementation, as we planned it in the last step, and then if there are changes to that, we need to make sure that, that those changes are updated in our documentation, mainly the SCTM and the SSB. Um, and then we also update that implementation information with how it was implemented, right? Whether it was changed or not, um, and how we implemented it, if we actually implemented it as we planned. So uh, as we look at this, again, this looks from the, from the onset, when you look at this one, you say, wow, there's just two tasks. There's only two tasks. But these are the tasks where that system owner, well, again, or common control provider, take those however many controls from the SCTM, uh, maybe 100. And we know controls like um, you know, AC2, they have a lot of parts to them. AC3 could have a lot of parts to it. Um, so th there's a lot of things that have to be implemented uh, on a system to make sure that it's secure and it meets the requirements of the RMF. And remember again, the RMF is not only for government systems, we can use the RMF in commercial systems as well. Um, more and more people are doing that. So a, a kind of a short step, it, it's to the point, it looks pretty simple, but remember, this is, this is really where the rubber meets the road, implementing these controls. It's gonna take the system owner a bit of time. It's probably going to involve the information system security officer, the information system security engineer, a lot of administrators, network security system, uh, database administrators to put these controls in place to drive down risk and increase the security of the system. So that's what we have to do in this step. Uh, once we're done with this, we'll hopefully assess all these controls ourselves, test them ourselves, and then we will be ready to turn the system over to the independent assessor for the next step. So as always, uh, hope you're having a good morning. Everything is going well. Uh, like, comment, subscribe. I know that a few people have been throwing some comments in. Love to hear them. Love to see what you guys want us to talk about because we can always add more content. Uh, hit the bell to be notified uh, and uh, we will see you tomorrow. Be safe out there, stay warm, um, and uh, just be good. Talk to you later.